In this first video this week, you're gonna see the students from the University of Alabama's class project, where they build an RC plane, uh, engineering style, on paper, and then have to prove it out in the air, this thing must fly. So, Ali Machinchi flew this plane. Ali works at Horizon Hobby. You've seen him flying all kinds of fantastic models all over the internet if you follow RC Aviation. Um, so thank you so much, Allie. Thank you, Birmingham RC Association, for the opportunity to come down and film so much great stuff. This is the first video coming out this week. I'm gonna do one every day from the Birmingham RC Show. So with that, here come the flight. Allie's on the sticks. Uh, stick around to the end of the flight and the engineers get to talk with Allie a little bit about some things they could do moving forward that would help it to fly even better. Great job, everybody. See you tomorrow. Okay. You know this is going up on your front page. I don't like that. I don't think 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 I don't Yep. Uh, I think the rigging angle is between, not so much a thrust angle, I think it's incident, wing winging to a slightly Sure. Out. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's viable, but yeah. it's a big train. Can you go inverted? Really? Well. Yeah, sure. yeah, now it is. Now it is. You're Do fine, it. then. Let me hear that from the professor and the student. Hey, guys, you okay if he rolls it, inverts it and stuff? It's not tough at all. Yeah? <laughs> okay. That's what I'm asking you guys. These guys are always going to be too crazy stuff. You know what the peanut gallery is going to say. The only thing is that the battery is not very, very good. It's going to go down. 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 Wow, that's a swingy view. All right. It's a little bit nose heavy. Um, that explains why I ran out of elevator at, in, on touchdown. Okay. Um, so if I was to do anything, if the CG could come back a little bit, would help. Okay. Um, that would allow me to have some pitch authority when I flare. Okay. But yeah, it's a uh, good start. No, pleasure. No problem. Yeah, no, it's landing something. <laughs> <laughs> So what you what you think, Allie, a little negative incidents on the... Yeah, no, 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 I mean, oh, this not broken. I should have looked at it when I, before I took off. And you can see it's probably got four or five degrees of positive on the wing. Sure. A lot. Is it five? Yeah. Any reason why you start with five? Would you like like a lift and drag ratio? That's like our highest with the drag ratio, so we chose five. Okay. So would that, would that mess a lot with your design scope by changing that? Alright, I will no, push that motor is more powerful. Okay. Yeah. As long as it doesn't, I'm just trying to think if you have to have that drag lift lift the drag efficiency number, then there's other ways around it. But yeah. If that's not a thing then change it would, would make a big difference to the way it flies because you're carrying probably three or four degrees of down elevator to continuous, which is far from optimal. Yeah. So, no. Nice. So cool to see the engineering students figure it out and for Allie to fly it and give us feedback. Uh, these are really non RC students who built an RC um, from scratch, really planning this out as a team. Really need to see it uh, come to fruition like that. If you like that video, you're going to like the next one. See ya.
very soon.